Mariah, girl. This, she always gets me. <laughs> yes, girl. Welcome to the Yes God Roundtable, Season 3, Episode 3, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We really do appreciate it. What's going on, panel? How are you? Hey, y'all. Hey. Happy Sunday. What's we up? are three episodes in already. That's so Already. 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 Yes, God. We're, we're keeping it moving, keeping it pushing. Man. I love it. I love it. Yes, God. All right. So, again, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please support all the members of the panel. Amen. Um, Carl may be joining us later on. So, um, he'll be joining us, hopefully. Amen. And um, shall we? Oh, hold on. Here he is. Amen. Ding dong. Always. Hallelujah. Hold on. Fashionably late. Hold on. That bitch be late to her own funeral. Hold on. Me too. How are you? All right, I was half asleep. So I'm a, I'm up now. That's okay. right. Wake and bake, honey. Okay. <laughs> well, again, everybody, thank you guys for joining us. I really do appreciate it. So we're gonna just jump right into the topics. Is that fine with everybody? Yes. Let's get started. All right, honey. So first up, we have um child mega content creator i am zo um sitting down with b simone and having a discussion that um has been the topic of conversation within our community lately he's been getting some backlash for it um so mm. i'm just gonna play that clip for us and we're gonna give our reactions and you know give our perspective on the things that he was talking about let's do it here we go I people to have growth overnight no. what I just heard what you said. Yeah. yeah. Do you want that potato? Eat it. They, yeah, I like, they'll have, like, okay, the guy, they, don't, they won't have girlfriends, but they still, like, the guys I talk to, either I'm their first or they never, you know, are they, hell, hell, be I prefer to be a first. So they like vagina more. So it's like, I have to be okay knowing, like, if you leave me, he might pick up the phone the next day, he might be over there with some girl laid up, doing whatever. That's stupid. Patience. That's stupid. No, it's, oh, it's, it's just like if you were a girl and you was talking to a guy and he, you know, y'all weren't together, he might lay up somewhere else the next day. Because it's patience. You wait, you, you know, you waiting. You waiting to be chose. I'm not chose. I'm not, I'm not waiting. I'm just waiting for him to be like, do you want to be with me and leave her alone? My man was like a vagina mom. I like that. I'm okay. I ain't never got to see her. Oh my gosh. Because I don't date, I can't date a gay guy. What? Openly gay. Yeah, what? because like, so how are you gonna get married? He's gonna be a guy who's with women and then decide to say, hey, I just wanna be with you. So that means he ain't never did nothing with no boy before. Got you. How come? What's the reason behind that? I don't wanna go out, like, when I go in straight clothes with y'all sometimes, I could be like, oh, God, I'm, in my head, I'm like, I don't mess with him, but nobody else knows. You know what I'm saying? I go like, I don't mess with him. But if I go to a gay club, they be like, oh, I done dated him, I done had him. Everybody. Yeah, just like, just like with y'all, and your, and your in your world, like it's like, like you date a guy and a girl might be like, oh, I dated him, be strong. It's like, oh, fuck. So you want somebody that no other guy has asked? Right. Girl, if I haven't had him, I don't care. Because I don't got to know you, you ain't got to know me. The fuck? That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard about motherfucking bitch. That girl that pissed me off. In girl. 2021, if you fucking with a nigga, whether he down low or not, you are not the first. I can promise you that. You are the biggest hoe. Them the ones that didn't fuck half your home girl. <laughs> Let me say this first of all. You are just like the rest of the other girls and how I used to think back in the day as well, too, when I was a young queen. Bitch, yeah. everyone done had that man you think that no one had. Exactly. Hello, you're the only one that thinks that. That girl sitting next to you in their mind is thinking the same fucking thing you are. So you think you want a prize, but in reality, you sold yourself short. You ain't a prize. <laughs> oh, okay, you ain't no prize, girl. <laughs> you're, not. You're, you're, not the, you're not the only one. In the words of Sam Smith, I know I'm not the only one. This is, you know what? The, yeah. This is the problem that I have with that whole that whole that whole conversation because sadly, he's not the only person in our community that thinks and thinks like that. And that explains yeah. why we have these popcorn relationships that don't last no more than a month or two. 
and everybody's walking around here putting on their status that they single, they looking, niggas ain't shit, but you're doing shit like this. The half of the community do what he do, and that's why we having so many problems now. Right. That's just one of the one thing I think was triggering me so much about it because it does remind me of myself in back in the heyday when I was a kid. Because we used to, we all as coming in, we were more than likely most of us are, are in straight communities, we're around a lot of your heterosexual environments. So we just want we wanted those straight guys that we were around all the time. Yeah. Until we got around our own. Like the older I've gotten, I'm like I was one I was one of those no fat guys. But I was yeah. young. Um everybody masculine, you couldn't be fat, you couldn't be feminine. As I've gotten older, I found a beauty in feminine guys now. So I was just telling Tramel the other day, like I just let I just let a feminine come here hit earlier. So it's just like Hold on, say that again. Yeah, I let a fem dude come and hit her head earlier. And everybody, look, he looked like, what? And I'm like, yeah, that's, I've just got a, a newer attraction for him now. So just like, when you get older and you get more comfortable with yourself, you you open, you're, you're, you're more open to do, you know, just to be you. And what that says to me, it says more about Zoe than it does anything else. Like, he right. hasn't got to a place in his mind yet to where he's comfortable enough with himself yet. Because I know him. Like, Zoe reminds me a lot of myself. Our personalities are very similar. We loud. We, like we crack jokes all the time. But it's a lot of hurt in that. There's a lot of hurt in that statement that he made. Mm -hmm. He's hurting yeah, himself. Especially he given himself. the fact that he was completely okay with the man having multiple women. I'm okay with women. I don't have to know you. And it's like, no. Like, that, that's not okay too. either. Yeah, that's not okay. He, he not basically right. is okay with going to a straight club knowing that that man fucked every woman in there. But as long as he didn't touch the man, he good. That was that was me when I was sixteen. It was so cute when I was sixteen. So you too old, girl. You too old. Wait, yeah, and we didn't know no better at sixteen. We knew no better. I like to know think better that now. it was something a little bit different. I like to think that his mind is in a different place because okay. um, I feel like because he is one of the more popular of the LGBTQ plus community that I feel like honestly, he really is afraid of um, gay guys, openly gay guys trying to use him for whatever reason. Wow. So having a more private man or something seems more appealing because they only want to be with you, not for being in the spotlight and using yeah. you for your name. They want to be hidden until you Let me ready. interject right there because you probably don't keep up with his videos. I've been following him for quite some time. And in a lot of his videos, he talks openly about these DL men that he dates and how he financially supports them. Then he eventually gets upset. And he says these things publicly. He gets upset because these guys want to use him for studio, pay for studio time, paying for Ubers and food and trips to his house. And before that clip, there was context of him saying that he doesn't mind building up a man. He doesn't mind if his man don't have no money or no job. Yeah, he'll do that well, for I a man. Mean, he'll do that for the random bro. girls around the corner, though. He ain't trying right. to. Right, and my thing is, but my thing is, like, he needs to open his eyes to the fact that there are established out gay men who don't want their business out and don't want you to take their coin. I'm established, yeah, but not, I can play broke if he he want to build me up some more. Bitch, I'm not going to build it. You gonna also have to play straight right. though. He don't I want you to. Have, he wants you to play straight too. So you got to go in the game live. You, you, never, you got to say you never did it with a man. I paid way too far to be going back to anybody's closet. So that's not happening. Hey, Amen. Hello. 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 Hmm. Conscious? You look like you're, <laughs> you're revving up, honey. Hey, baby. Okay. V8 engine. Uh, I don't. I'm not a fan of Zoe. I don't watch Zoe. Can't even say I've seen a single fucking video. Probably have only had a relationship to his thumbnails over the past three years, and now I see why. Uh, Zoe seems to me from this clip to suffer from something that I call insecure bottom syndrome, and this is exactly why he likes to utilize his coin. He likes to utilize his coin in order to have power over trade, who he looks at as in some way inferior, but also me trade to obvious. Huh? What happened? IBS. Yes, IBS. <laughs> Insecure bowel syndrome, IBS, which is also synonymous with irritable bowel I'm syndrome. I'm using that now. I'm, we gonna make sure you conscious get coins, but that, that you are suffering from IBS. Okay, girl, you are suffering from IBS, bitch. I'm copywriting my shit tonight. Copyrighted, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going down to the courthouse tomorrow. 
And like, what's insecure? What's interesting about insecure bottom syndrome is that like men like Zoe use their coin in order to have power over a man who they look at in some way as inferior because money equals power and you, and you control that that's a man with that power. But he also needs trade to validate um, his divine feminine because Zoe is really actually fucking insecure, uh, insecure bottom syndrome. Um, also, like his openness, first of all, I looked at all that shit that he was eating, like they're eating seafood, right? Mm -hmm. I actually mm -hmm. don't want any trade to have Zoe as a first experience because that trade is going to walk away from that sexual experience thinking that every other boy pussy in the community tastes like biscuits and squid. That is a total God given. Oh note. my God! It's a note from me, Miss Zoe. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I also want to state that I just think oh it's, so, it's so it's so trash. Any, any any bitch or any nigga who is fucking like you know, taking men like like garbage and you're narcissistic as fuck. Like I just think it's so trashy to hook up with people who are bound and 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 in entanglements and the whole thing is just crazy to me but i agree with carl like unfortunately there's a lot of people in our community who equate the straighter a man is the more masculine he is and we really have to overcome that idea there are plenty of very open very affirming very self-assured confident gay men who have no issue with their sexual orientation who literally are equivalent to the masculinity of trade i know because my ex-husband is literally the most masculine man I've ever met in my entire life and is completely 100% comfortable in his pansexuality, bisexuality. This nigga has plenty of times gotten out and changed my oil, rotated my motherfucking tires, came back in, gave me dick, loved on me, and nobody even could tell, okay, that we were in a same gender relationship. Matter of fact, they probably thought he was going to fucking download. Hold on one second. Like me. There's, hmm? a, um, there's some feedback coming in. Okay, well, I'm done anyway. I don't know where the feedback coming from, but um, kiss my ass. Um, <laughs> let's take a turn, though. Like, why do you think that is in our community? Why do you think, like, the IBS people only go for the that, that token trade guy? Like, why do you think... I'll just say we don't. I think it, I think it stems from, more than the guys. I think it stems for our own community. We do it to ourselves. We are the hardest. But why? Anybody. I have no clue why we we do it to ourselves. This is like, if you act too, I mean, I guess you you're too feminine. Then it's like nobody wants to deal with you, and everybody they they people won't say that's exactly why. They just won't say like, well, you know, he wanted a girl. So, oh, that's my sis, and it's like. Girl, we all gay. Like, I didn't, think, I didn't date it some real trend. When I was younger, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. When I was younger, my excuse was, if I wanted a woman, I would date one. That was my excuse. I used to one. I used to one. <coughs> but as that you got older, you, like, like it, you said, it was ignorant. It was ignorant once, as fuck, but that was my excuse. older, you, wisdom comes with age. So once mm -hmm. you're older, you realize that, like, we're all gay. We all do say every, like, even the most feminine men that I have dated, men that I've dated in the past, they all have masculine ways. Like, it's always, most gay guys I know are both. It's just, yeah. So it's just like, you you get more comfortable with it. Like, okay, that's just them being them. You you start looking at and look looking at dating and loving people for who they are. And when yeah. you're insecure or you're young right now, you just, like, that, to be honest, that's half of our community. Half of our insecure. You know, we sit there all the day. Oh, bitch, I'm so fat. Oh, my God, this and that. Because you already know, the only fans, girl, they got the bodies and shit. That's what everybody like. You look at your friends, they won't even like your goddamn post in your work. But as soon as this bitch take her shirt off, bitch, they, they hitting the like button like it ain't nobody. Mm -hmm. else. So it's just like, it makes you start questioning yourself. Well, bitch, I'm not looking like that. So is that why people not liking my post? Or I put a picture up, I, it got 10 likes. This bitch got 20 likes in two minutes. And you should start questioning everything. So it's just like, I have to yeah. play the community for that. As a community, we have to do better. And I also think we... 
unfortunately we the only example we had was heterosexuality so we're we look yeah, for every relationship to have that female and male energy male exactly. even if it's two men or two women to us it's only normal if there's a masculine and a feminine energy right but let me ask this question so what do you say to the people like myself that i'm also on the fence about this because it's about preference what if you prefer that i do too i mean but i want to be open though i, I want to be open to that. I prefer my man to be masculine because I'm the feminine energy in the relationship. And if you're out here queening out when I'm queening out, I don't find that attractive. I find the, see, go the ahead. problem that I have with that because I was I was like I was exactly like you. And the, what I've learned mm. is that the people that I was of uh, I have a preference. And come to find mm. out my preference is always doing me wrong. So maybe I might need to open up and open my broad my horizon and date differently because everybody I prefer was treat me like shit and that's still true yeah. to this day. I still have a preference, quote unquote, but in the, the day my preference just they, they don't act right. So I have to start dating outside my box. Mm. You buy your 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 fin body I mean your your soulmate might have meals though. I'm just saying could you date okay before we get to Shamel could you date a feminine top though? Like if he was I mean, feminine but was ready to bend you I over am. and get another no, I'm talking to YB. Could you date? Could you date a feminine type YB? No, no. I can't take that seriously because you're like, girl, bend that ass over. No, honey. Like, no, I don't think he's gonna talk like that. I can't I can't that. Like, somebody who has dated a feminine top, they are def they are feminine in person in the bedroom. Completely different story. Y'all stop sleeping oh, on the same top, child. Stop and I believe that outside. because I was that I person. I'm top before. They wear wigs out in public, bitch. They get in the bedroom. See? I'm telling you. You said you've taught before and you were you were that masculine energy. So maybe some of a moment okay. in time, honey. For a moment one moment <laughs> in time. For only a moment in time. Okay. Look, I, slept with I can't do that full time though. You, bitch. We came off, all that shit came off. I'm telling you. Hold it for But see, that's the thing too. I don't want my man to be out there wearing wigs. I don't want him to be feminine. Uh, that's okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I don't mean that feminine. I mean like me. I'm I'm opening my mind to dating a man like me. But more feminine than me, I have to I have to get there. I have to graduate there. I'm not there yet. Well, I am not. You there. can have stipulations. I mean, I don't want you to go out and find somebody that's wearing corsets and nine inch heels. I mean, but at the mm. end of the day, just I say broaden a little bit. Like just don't be like, oh, he's too feminine for me. Give it a try. You'll never be surprised. I'm telling you. But you know what kills me about, you never had. I'm telling you. But you know what kills me furthermore about his statement? It's leading to the fact that there's no masculinity within our community. There I know out guys who are heavily masculine. You wouldn't be able to even tell mm -hmm. they were gay. They told you. That's wrong with it. So it's just like don't take away from the fact and I, I know that it's not as prevalent because we don't see that as much in the forefront. But you go to some of these gay clubs, and I guarantee you, you'll see some quote unquote trade niggas, but they're out gay dudes. They're just not yeah. flamboyant or have feminine tendencies. You know what I'm saying? I really don't think he was going down. That's a gay guy. You don't think he was going in that direction? direction? No, I don't think he was going that direction. No, I don't think he was going that direction at all. I really feel like what I heard from him was that he just didn't want to date a guy who had been with other gay guys. He didn't say. I mean, of course he was. T of course, they lose to and you assume that the dudes are masculine and uh, overly masculine because they're DL and like DL, DL. That's what he was saying. But he was more so on the whole thing of I don't want to date somebody that other guys, my friends, have been with. Child, don't so he doesn't want somebody who's openly gay just because they have probably been with. But he said he don't want to go in. A, he want to go in a club and have nobody say they've been with him. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Be able to walk his man that in the club and say, "Oh." That's not gonna happen. And in Atlanta, that girl, Atlanta, please. try to try the world. <laughs> girl, he exactly. It, like he can't he even bring that shit down here to Texas. The homegirls that he hang out with, and he's making us like all look bad because he openly saying, "Oh, bitch, I'm gonna go after your man. I don't want no man in my community. I want the man in your community. I want to turn him out, and I'm gonna do it behind your back. And I don't want." Mm. I don't care if you don't. I don't care if you know and all this other stuff. I don't care if you don't know. I don't want to ever meet you, bitch. I'm gonna be fucking your man behind your back, girl, and you better know it. I don't care if he you fucking with you. He's still gonna fuck now. with me. How the fuck and you, get all that for you know, me? you got you got women out here who are legitimately <laughs> afraid of shit, like that man being gay, and she and he is out here telling them, oh, your man might be gay. He might be fucking with niggas like me on the low. 
So these women gonna be extra paranoid. Because yeah, you saw even on this alone, she was like, uh, like I ain't gonna let you around my man, bitch. So he's making it bad for us to opening his big ass mouth, running around talking about he fucking bitches means out here. So to close this out, what do we have to say to Zo? If we were to have a conversation with Zo, if he was in the chat right now, what would we say to him? Shut your motherfucking mouth, bitch, and just do your thing and don't tell nobody what the fuck you're doing. Girl, what? Because it's nobody's business what the fuck you doing. Um, you should really not be doing what the fuck you doing because you sitting there messing with a community of people that don't know, and you just being deceptive all around to other people. So, girl, you are open your mind though. Like, you are completely closed minded, and you just need to really open your eyes to your own community because what you're looking for is right before your very eyes. Well, I think what it is, but I think it is with Zoe is that Zoe got to realize that and you're a celebrity gay in the gay community equates to really nothing in the gay community. Like you, they, you have like Zoe has been to the club before. Sa- Saucy Santana's gone to the club, and people just walk by them like they like nobody. So it's mm-hmm. just like because I've seen them out in the clubs before, and we just like okay, it's Zoe, okay, Saucy, like they just regular old gay. And I think yeah, I've seen Zoe in the club looking like everybody, like hey, it's me. Like none of me, like no, bitch. <laughs> and it's just like I was. I Ain't he he's short? Go. I've seen him. He's short. I'm like, yeah, he's just not like I. I feel like he he don't he don't feel like the community like fucks with him. Like I feel like he think they should be fucking with him. But I think that's his disdain for the gay community. I think that's why he's dating mm. because he feel like dating a gay guy. They should be head. They should be lucky to have a zoe. And he probably dated guys in the community, and that was not the case. You are a regular gay. I, motherfuckers, will you get in the world, be the biggest motherfucker in the place, and they will still cheat on you, and they still treat you like shit. So you ain't no exception. Yeah. So I think he just got to realize that himself. That's it. Or maybe he want to blackmail his men. He want to be like, you going to be with me. You ain't going to tell nobody. And I'm, I'll tell people if you don't be with me like you're supposed to be. I don't know. Maybe doing that. That's wishing death, girl. The girl slicing throats for shit like that. So let, please don't. Please do not. He, like the guy gonna find his ass in Lake Lanier, bitch. Who, whose secrets you keeping? Y'all gonna it. find his ass in Lake Lanier if he playing like that. The man whose secrets you keeping? Who really don't want it to be told? Hey man. And maybe he like that. Maybe he likes being in control of situations like that. Like My Concha son. said, IBS. <laughs> My I final to... Go ahead. Uh, this comment probably gonna get. Probably gonna. I don't know what this comment is gonna do, but. Uh, pertaining to the issue of like masculinity and femininity, like the Western world has a very warped, like indignant ass understanding or perception of masculine and feminine and femininity. Like it's so polarizing that it's just really fucking annoying. Uh, one of the, how can I? So I feel like this. I feel like a lot of gay men. They want other people to accept them for who they are. But the truth about a lot of gay men is that a lot of gay men don't actually like their own femininity. That's why they don't like it on other men, sexually or physically. When Mm. you really come to really love who you are and you truly find the things that you do, swaggerific as fuck, dope, sexy, edgy, stylish, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, you're able to literally define that on everyone else the very same way. So for me, I people label me as androgynous. I really mm-hmm. people can label me whatever the fuck they want to label me. I don't give a fuck. I'm also verse. I love long hair on men. So I don't just find long hair on myself to be dope. I love niggas with dreads, braids, flowing. It really doesn't matter. Afros, I don't give a fuck. Whatever it is, like it's sexy to me. I recently started painting my nails. I love black men who paint their motherfucking nails. Like okay, the things that I you. find attractive on myself are qualities that I find <laughs> attractive on other people. And so I feel like there's something that feminine men in this feminine queer men in this culture need to really evaluate. Like why why is it that you're willing to be feminine 
but you really don't find femininity sexually attractive or emotionally attractive or romantically attractive. I think that there's some layers of the onion that need to really be peeled back there because there's something there's something there, like something that's not right in the buttermilk. It's kind of like when you get those pro-black people who are screaming to the top of the mountain, pro-black, 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 and then they're with a the non-black bitch. And then you're like, you're so pro-black that you didn't want to replicate your blackness through your children. You didn't want to have other deeply melanated offspring as well. Like, or you want to bleach your own, like, it's like we got like, Nobody's paying attention to that, but like we gotta get in that looking crevice and we gotta like open that up because it's it's something in there that needs to be fucking explored. And yeah, that's all I wanna say to that. Oh, and I wanna say that in the black community, like we because we particularly are impacted by patriarchy and toxic masculinity more than any other community, which is why white men get to do whatever the fuck they wanna do in this country while Black men either are going to be gay or they're going like they're going to be gay and feminine or straight and masculine. And there's really no room for any variation of black man aside from that. You look at the Caucasian community, you get every genre of man there is known to fucking mankind. So I just feel like because we've been impacted by toxic masculinity and patriarchy, we need to make sure that we are really striving towards self-awareness because what we call in preference isn't by nature it's by design we've been informed regarding our preferences due to our conditioning and so we need to understand as black queer people we can't just accept our identity on the surface we need to explore and unpack all of our shit to make sure that everything in us it's healthy and it's on the right on the right foundation. I'm going to shut that I think you're a mute, YB. My final thoughts for Zoe are this: I, you, you're you're sadly mistaken to think that no one else has had your man. My experience with EL, with trade, with niggas who they're the sluts. They're more sluttier than they consider us. Mm. So they've ran through the community. And I hate to put this out there, but I've lived in Atlanta. And trust and believe, honey, if you don't think someone's had your man, you're crazy as fuck. People have been in previous relationships. People have had previous situations going on. So, and it's a small world. It's a small world. You'll run into a bitch who didn't had your man. And you can't get upset about that. And you're, gonna, you're just adding to your own plight, though, baby. And that's all I want to say about him. Moving on. Zoe. Power to you, baby. Power to you. But um, moving on to the next topic at hand, um, this has become something that people are actually laughing at. I, I don't think it's funny. Um, well, some days I think it's funny, but you know, and and what we're talking about today, I don't think it's too funny. So this man right here, um, Kevin. I don't know how to pronounce all the other things in his name, honey, because he's you know. It's been y'all, honey, okay? But I'm going to read the report real quick. Brazilian rapper Kevin, who performed as MC Kevin, fell to his death in Rio de Janeiro after he jumped off a balcony and plunged several floors. Girl. Bueno was having a threesome with his friend, Victor, and fashion model, Bianca Dominguez, in a hotel room when someone knocked on the door. Kevin thought it was his wife, and he bolted, girl. The popular rapper's wife, um, whatever her name is, Dion, we're going to call her Dion girl, um, had been texting and calling him with no response and was searching for him on the hotel grounds. He thought she had found him when a friend knocked on the door of the hotel suite. Kevin was reportedly attempting to jump onto a terrace below the balcony. He missed and fell five stories onto the pool patio below. Dominguez told authorities that she met the men earlier that day on the beach when she was invited to the rapper's suite. While both women were at the police station, whatever that name is, mm -hmm. allegedly struck the model. It isn't clear whether Dominguez knew Kevin was married. The couple had only been married for three fucking weeks, bitch. 
We must point out that all testimonies report excessive con consumption of alcohol and narcotic substances and illicit drugs. That's what the police chief said. Extremely scared, worried about being caught cheating by his wife. He panicked and tried to go down to the floor below when he slipped, fell, and unfortunately died. Girl. And that's the end of the story. Um, I think this begs a <laughs> concern of, girl, what's wrong with you just living in that truth? If you Because of the backlash that comes with it, let's be honest. I mean, we've all experienced it on some level. And we're out and proud. But just imagine living your entire life in the closet and then having to reveal this truth. He was probably afraid he would lose everything. You killed yourself. <laughs> I mean, is it that serious? I mean, I get it, though. He probably obviously didn't plan on killing himself. He probably, yeah, it wasn't his plan. Yeah. He probably thought he could make the jump. But again, you're high as fuck on God knows what. You're not in control of your mental, emotional, physical faculties or any of that nature. You're in the thralls of dicking this bitch down or probably getting dicked down yourself. Cause my thing is, if you were, if you and your homeboy were just fucking the girl, I don't really see that to be a, much of a problem. But why were you truly running, girl? Were you running, girl, because you two were getting that booty hole slayed, or were you slaying your friend's booty hole? There's so much, and I know that's like the salaciousness of the story that people are probably more like trying to get into. But the fear behind it, you're dead now, bitch. And I guess for fun's sake, you could say you went out with a bang. <laughs> Girl, Girl, <no>. You know, <laughs> you went out with a bang. Your last moments were pleasurable. I'm <laughs> not. I'm going to jump off a balcony, though, for real. Like, I am not. I'm not doing this. I'm Trust not. me, if she was knocking at that door because she already knew. And it wasn't even her. It was, the, it was a friend of theirs. It was another homeboy probably coming to partake in this, you know, threesome about to be foursome. You ran, girl, and you slipped and you busted your ass. No, you busted your life. You're you're gone. The CCO so. Like this is some shit you see on a telenovela. You didn't want nobody to know, but now everybody knows. It's a scare to, to have to run because you are in you. First of all, why you have been married only three weeks? Why the fuck are you partaking in this kind of debauchery anyway? You're supposed to be fucking your wife, girl. Now you're in the thralls of a threesome, possibly what could have been a foursome. Because she was a beard. She was he didn't want to marry her. He figured he married her, wouldn't be no, nobody would question it. He married. And he's you know, I have to anything. Because like I have like I messed with girl with guys before and like in the DL community, if you like. Oh no, he ain't DL. He couldn't be gay. He got kids. Oh, he could be DL. He got he could, that he don't could mean be gay. That. He got he married. And I'm like, girl, how long you ain't been straight long, have you? Hmm. If you think if that's true, I'm just saying. That means a damn thing. I fuck plenty married niggas and plenty of niggas with kids, okay? Hello. And I've had mom. niggas with balls of steel roll up on me with their baby in the car seat, bitch. Let niggas ain't shit. shit. But you took an oh you you took the honor, girl. You uh, under pleasure under God. You just got married to this woman, and then if you know she's hunting you down, why are you putting yourself in positions to be caught literally with your pants down? Right, was you that horny? And then when, I wonder if he had time to get dressed. So is this a naked dead body five floors down? <laughs> I just paint. Ping to the wind, girl. And if you were on substances, that means that dick was probably still hard. <laughs> oh, I hope he ain't land on it and split it in half or something. Girl, this could have been Andrew Gillum, girl. Andrew, the only dead. I'm not Andrew dead. Gillum didn't fall out of the damn um the place though. He fell on his ass and in, in his own piss and shit. <laughs> what I would have a show has this become. Girl, it's a mess. I'm making light of this because I want people to understand the seriousness of it at the same time. Because, like, this is Man, how stupid fuckery. it was. Yeah, it this was is dumb. dumb. It was stupid. You lost, and you're a beautiful man. Let's pull the picture again, honey. You are a beautiful man, honey. You're a rapper. You're doing your thing. And let's be honest here. I know a lot about the Spanish persuasion, honey. A lot of those boys are low key bisexual. Anyway. We'll do anything. They, we'll love, the they love sex, with no matter who it's with. Not all of them, 
Hello God, most not all of them, but most of them. I, if rest of y'all, anybody else got something to say about this? I am. Uh -uh. Um, <laughs> definitely just want to say that the shit is tragic as fuck on a trillion different levels. First of all, this woman has to mourn her husband and had insult to injury. Her last remaining experience of her husband is him cheating on her and then also having to understand that her husband was bisexual and all of that coupled together with his death is like I can't even imagine how in the hell her brain must be working to deal and and, and to put that back to it. Um, You're making me look like an asshole. <laughs> I say you making me look like an asshole now. <laughs> you, yeah, every man for themselves on this motherfucking panel. <laughs> this motherfucking panel. Um, Why be I with you, child? <laughs> as far as the cheating, as far as the cheating goes, first of all, he's trash for cheating. Um, it is twenty twenty one, and there are just too many wild, crazy females who are down for the three ways and the four ways and the pansexuality of it all. You could have been in that hotel with your husband sucking on dick. I mean, with your wife sucking on dick instead of with another bitch and sucking on dick, and then you wouldn't have worried. You wouldn't have been worried who was at the door. It could have been room service, and you would have been perfectly fine because Absolutely. you were actually within the situation you were supposed to be. But this conversation also goes back to last episode when I said that when it came to the Angela Statton, the Angela Statton topic. Shout out to to Tremel, that homophobia is. The end result of homophobia is, is the download community. And so while I can blame this man for, for for his own actions, I also have to look at the culture and say, look, this is what the fuck y'all wanted. Y'all want transphobia and homophobia. Therefore, you drive men into obscurity. And this is the fucking outcome. And so we can't crucify the individual without also crucifying the culture that facilitates and creates this type of debauchery. So on a lighter note, I need to get more famous so that men like Mr. Kevin can know that I exist because if he was looking for a soft landing, he could have landed right in my pussy and it would have been perfectly fine. So I'm going to work on going more viral and getting my motherfucking numbers up so that <laughs> but, mm -hmm, for all of that. Mm. Yes. He, he was he was a beautiful man. He was. Child, you remind me of a West Side Story. Growing up in the Paradise Living a life just like a movie star. Oh, yeah, Kevin, Kevin. 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 Mama Zala, Mama Zala. That was my song, girl. You can't tell me nothing about um, Carlos Santana, honey. Da, na, 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 I was so sick of his ass growing up. Stop the booting, stop the shooting. Me ka 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 la la. Ha 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 ha. ka ka la la. He never knows the fucking word. <laughs> girl, I'm telling you. Uh, not little Maria on the corner thinking a way to make it better. Oh, child, that was my song, bad, and that beat was everything. I love me some Carlos Santana, honey. Oh, and they remixed it for uh, what was that? Uh, Wild Thoughts. I was a more Sean Paul girl myself. Oh, I like Sean Paul. Sean child, Paul you know the tea about him, honey. You know, Jay Z uh -huh. came down from the heavens, girl, and told him, bitch, you will not be doing no more music videos with my wife, Beyonce, girl. Wow. That was many years ago when, when Sean Paul had that song with um Baby Boy. I heard something like they, that. He couldn't be he couldn't be like in scenes with her. That's why they shot scenes separately. Are you um, he also did the same thing with Slam Thug on the Chuck Up on it. Um yeah, he didn't want them in scenes shoot. with them. He right. didn't even want them on set. That's why you never dancing. saw them together either. Child, that's the wow. boyfriend. Why you I never knew that. that? I was well, wondering why every time she performed it at award shows during that era, he was never there. She just 
But his little party and that was it. Oh, he was there one time at the uh, the at the EMAs. The EMAs, yeah. And she he made sure that the CD skipped too. Oh, mm. that that was the one and only time Beyonce shit was like, so, baby boy, so baby boy, she baby boy. She can't perform with them though, but he can go fuck Bucky with a good hair though. That's how niggas ain't shit. Hello, niggas. They 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 can't. He can't with shit. Huh? Pussy. They do what he want to do. Oh, okay. Amen. Hello. Hello. Oh, Lord. No, oh, Lord. Out. Let me out. No. <laughs> I really was no. just looking for the picture. Where's the picture? Yeah. Oh, just go, go to their Instagram page. All they do is post each other all day, bashing each other. Here they go. Why isn't this not letting me do it? Trash and trash. Right next to the raid. That's How cool. appropriate. <laughs> Why is this doing that? Get your ass up here, girl. I need the whole photo. Can y'all see this? Mm. Well, we know what's going yeah. on. We talking about we Erica Mena and Safari. We know what's going on. We know before they report it. Child, they just, go, just follow Instagram, child. <laughs> <laughs> so, Conscious, what's the deal with these two? What's going on with them now, child? Well, <laughs> Erica Mena is filing for divorce from Safari, who she's been married to for two, three two years now, actually currently pregnant while filing a divorce wow. from her soon to be a strange husband. Uh, she's requesting that he definitely pays her in child support and that he leaves her with the house, which means that she wants him booted the fuck out right goddamn now. And uh, they've been through a series of interesting breakdown in their relationship a for series. the past months, stemming back to last year. Uh, like season seven. Huh? <laughs> like, like we on season seven, that many. Series. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah. So um, there's been allegations that Safari made like a few months ago when they were going through a breakdown and the divorce w word was being thrown around then where he was stating that getting married was the worst choice of his life. He would never do it again. He also recited an incident where Erica Mena got physical with him and he had to walk away and leave his home as a result of not fucking her up. She then clapped back at him and stated that he was the most narcissistic motherfucker she's ever met in her life and that she's been on her own raising their children and that despite being married now she pretty much is acting as a single mother uh mm -hmm. and so there's just been a lot and it looked like things had worked out a few months ago when she hit the fan but then safari came back and was like i love my wife i would never disrespect her i love my family so we've been thinking everything was good especially since erica mena put out like a whole fucking Search and rescue for Wendy Williams cankles because she wanted to give that bitch a two piece in a biscuit for disrespecting her motherfucking family. <laughs> the Wendy show, so uh, we was all thinking that maybe everything was cool, but then bam, here we are now. So I just find it. Let me say something about these two, um, and it doesn't so heavily relate to their divorce, but just them as people in these like not a not b definitely not c um i would revere kathy griffin her life on the d list is way more popping than a safari his dick and mena because we have to admit that safari's dick is its own entity amen mm, amen, uh, amen. Well, yeah. so only fans is dried up loving hip-hop's not calling no one's booking anything i think this is the worst time to get a divorce because both of y'all bitches are probably broke as fuck right now and you're trying to make your way in so you need to not do the divorce because i don't think safari has any coins um to be paying her in child support and something tells me that if there is a number it's going to be a large number because erica mena does like to live a decent lifestyle which i don't blame you girl you should want to live that way but this is the worst time to get a divorce y'all ain't got no money girl do you even but live that way on your own dime. Don't try to live that way on somebody else's dime just because you had his kids. Well, even before him, she was still kind of living a certain type of life. Okay, you know? then maintain that on your coin. Don't require me to pay for it. Because let's be honest here, I wonder how heavy he's going to be involved in the children's lives anyway. Um, I hate to put that stigma on him that we do. Or not at all. He's barely, He's not involved now is what she's saying. You but that's what, what she's saying. We don't know if that's the truth. 
Well, Safari is always posting himself partying and somewhere and then believe. Yeah, I ain't seen him with no kids. I ain't seen go. that. Oh, see, I don't follow them, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. I follow them. That's what I hate, too. That's another conversation. Why do we always got to leave the kids with the mom? I know the mom more than likely wants it. Obviously, that maternal instinct is, to me, I think is way more powerful than the fraternal <clears throat> instinct, if you ask me. Because if it was an equal bond or one was more, we would see a lot more fathers present in their children's lives. Oh, well, yeah. The maternal instinct is much stronger than the paternal. It does say in the divorce papers that it, she does want full custody, but she is also perfectly fine with joint custody because she wants Safari. Like her complaint has been he's not in our children's lives. So while she does want joint custody, she definitely wants, I mean, she wants full custody, but she also is very open to joint custody because he needs to be involved. He's raising girls. And I wonder what he's going to do. Your music is trash. You're trash. Everyone has probably experienced that dick. No one wants to get fucked by that dick. They just want to suck that dick. They don't want to feel fucked by it because it's going to hurt them. See, who? we've seen it all. We don't it's want it. No hurt who? Who is going to hurt? I was trying to tell you, girl. I was trying to tell you. Girl. Speak uh -uh. for yourself. Girl, you can try. You can handle if you can handle that. God bless you. Nah, I can't handle. bigger than that, Joe. Nah, yeah, there's definitely it's, it's definitely bigger dick, but I think that nobody sees Safari as a as a decent fuck because he got because he that dick is on a goofy ass man. So yeah. like the they usually are though. though. The the ret let me tell you something. The ain't shit niggas, the retarded motherfuckers, even ugly guys oh, have the, huge the fucking dick. Dumb as they are. Child, all the good dick. guys, all the good guys have ping gal, ping gal. We don't want ping gal, honey. We want yes, God moments. Honey. <laughs> yes, God. <laughs> Put that on a good man, Savannah. <laughs> Woo. Man, Ooh. good man. I feel my, my, my uh, niggas who got money, got and, and class, and, and, and gentlemen, and suave. They got little dicks. Yes, <laughs> the gentleman guys, the regular me. Or they're too big. Or, or the goofy niggas, big dick. Niggas who were at the boxers ain't shit. Yeah, true. Niggas who are on point. Oh. Niggas who wear Ithaca boxes ain't shit. They all on dirty Twitter. I see them all. I love it for my fancy, but bitch, I know y'all niggas ain't shit. Give me a nigga who got some Hanes, bitch. That's a thoughtful nigga. He got Hanes. bills to pay. <laughs> of course he do. He got social security, bitch. Hmm. But back to these two. I just, you know, my final thoughts on these two people are, girl... I just, I, I, the kids don't want to be here. They don't, kids don't ask to be here. So hopefully y'all do what y'all got to do as parents. And Erica Mena, you need to, I haven't seen you. I don't really check for you like that. But from what I remember from you on Love Hip Hop New York, you are a wild ass bitch. And you linked up with a cornball ass nigga. If the greatest rap, one of the greatest rappers of all time could not hold that man down and, and deal with his fuck shit, what makes you think your fucking third world country ass is going to be able to deal with him? <laughs> not mm. third world country. We always <laughs> think we can change people. Not oh, he's with me, so we can change him, and then we turn out he ain't shit. Look at him; he likes to be seen. Those types of any, anything for clout type of niggas, you can't but marry Erica, them. Yeah. I mean, I he think was the same goofy ass nigga, nigga that he was date Bow Wow. Like she um, likes corny niggas. Like, oh, that's that. true. Well, my bad. I did forget about Rich Dollars or Krispy Kreme looking she ass. Got, she got it. She got tight. Yeah, she the only time food. she had sense was when she dated San Santana. That's the best relationship she'd have been in. And she fucked yeah. up. But she should have known that uh, Safari was corny. He was corny when he was with Nikki. He was doing all this on the stage and shit, girl. They didn't even know he was with Nikki. They thought that um he was her gay stylist. Or something Not the gay stylist. Not the gay stylist, though. Was gay. Yeah, I think um her road manager thought he was like her gay friend. Then she's he just hung out with her. Well, he doesn't score. Well, let's keep it real, too. He never once, even with Nikki or with Eric or whoever else he's been with, he's never served me husband material like a real man. Like, we could talk about Kenneth Petty and his foolishness, but at least what he exudes is a man that, you know, to his woman. Safari's a clown. He's like your personal hype guy. He probably can yeah. be your gay best friend. 
he doesn't give me someone who's responsible, who's trying to be a mature individual or try to add something to a relationship. If anything, he's only been trying to link up with people who can either heighten his celebrity profile. And girl, it's never going to happen because no yeah, real same person yeah. wants you, honey. At all. Yeah. We'll see you on the next Breed It Raw catalog, though, girl. Because oh. Yeah. In and those cabins, girl. Wrong. Not it's very well, because eventually that's what it's going to come down to. He's going to start wearing ski masks and start doing gay porn. Let me know what he's here. Oh my god! This. I would be bent over bed like, "Ooh, I know who that is." <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, God, honey. Chow, any further thoughts on these subject matters that we discussed Hell today? Hell no. Let's move on. Man. Yeah. Girl, <laughs> they need to get their shit together. I'm so tired of hearing about Erica Manning and Safari like falling in love. Did they have an OnlyFans together at one point? Yeah. I thought they had them separate. Oh, they were. Okay, they were they separate. licking and sucking and sucking and sucking and sucking and sucking on each other. On Obviously, that didn't work. I just wish they would grow up. They're worse than Ray J and that bitch princess. Oh, oh, my God. oh Lord I'm Jesus. I'm so sick of them too. It's repetitive. It's like, girl, y'all are toxic. You don't need each other. You're not ready for each other. And let's be honest here. You bitches really aren't looking for love. You're looking no. for stability, bitch. But I think that that's what's like, because that's what Erica and Safari are a symbolic representation of of everything that's wrong with everything that Kevin Samuels is saying and stating about high valued man and this kind of like superficial matrix. Like I can't even blame Safari or Erica for not being able to get this right because they both participate in a system that's fraudulent. Like Safari yeah. is a rich and wealthy black man with hyper visibility who is afforded the luxury, if that's what you want to call it, of reducing women to just being some exotic Barbie trophy situation on his arm. And Erica Mena, because she's a woman in a capitalistic patriarchy, is reduced to also loving men, but also seeing men as an opportunity to for some salvation, whether that be financial and economical salvation, whether that be emotional and spiritual salvation, all the things that women look for in men. And so by them both being as blind as a bat and deaf tone and unaware in their consciousness, <laughs> damn, <laughs> they run their narcissism had just has a head on collision and they're really just two big kids attempting to look for all the right things by going about it in all the wrong ways and they don't yeah. they don't know they don't know how to they don't know how to get to the reality of it and i'm gonna tell you the thing that made me feel the most sad for erica and when i knew the whole situation was doomed is when she was recently talking about her current pregnancy and how they actually were going to get a surrogate for the second child because when she was pregnant the first time safari found her unattractive and was turned off by her gaining so much weight while she was pregnant and so they were going to get a surrogate but then she ended up just getting pregnant and she was like well he's doing good he's supportive etc and she didn't even catch what she was communicating about her man when she said my yeah, man huh i was talking to my dog my bad oh that my husband was turned off and distant from me because i gained weight and i'm like oh my because God. i was no and i only gained weight because i was carrying his child but that's the but that that's was, unfortunate that was the big curtain reveal here it is you had this wasn't lust for so it wasn't love for safari it was lust and she didn't even, but it didn't register to her because Erica Mena is once again a woman in a patriarchy. She participates in the video vixen industry. She was a video model before we came to know her on Love and Hip Hop. So she was in the candy shop video. <laughs> she was also in Was she? She was also. Yeah, she was, she was, was the bitch on the bed with the with the. Yellow she was on. also oh, in Bow Wow's video. Bow Wow's video for what? She was in Chris Brown video too. 
Really? She was also in Bow Wow's video for um Expression I Miss. And oh, so, Expression I Miss? Oh, I love that song. She, she's in the club and her and Bow Wow are having this <clears throat> space ball. Yes. And she was What's in the Yo video, you said Chris Brown Yo video? She was yeah. Say she has a long set as a video name, model. Excuse me, miss. I see you from across the room. That was his second video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So wait, he was she was the girl that he was chasing down the sidewalk. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. God, hey, hey, why are we celebrating that? Because they were minors when they made those songs. So was she a minor too, or is she older than I think them? she was like she was Yeah, they all the same age. He was he was 15. We all in our 30s. She was like 19. Okay, I keep forgetting she's a little younger. Okay. Yeah, we all in our thirties, I think. I was trying, you know, I was trying to tie that whore into being, a, you know, around here trying to fuck. Again. Nah, she was young. No, she, she was. I don't like her. I don't like him. Um, I, I I despise Nicki Minaj for even introducing us to this cornball ass nigga. But she, she did she did she did herself. She did actually oh, introduce I mean. him. She he was just supposed to be carrying her bags and shit. In the bag. Yes. <laughs> Keep your man out of the out of the limelight, girl. She did. You know, he right? decided to bust. Yeah, her she, he wasn't known as her man. He was a gay stylist, remember? Yeah. Only when they broke up, that's when he started talking. I mean, but as we can see from Nicki Minaj, who went on to marry and have the child of an ex-con slash uh, sex offender, I mean, she wasn't looking for love either. Clearly, she was looking for a thug. Not well, love. Story was a little complicated. <laughs> you can't help him fall in love with baby. And now she, she finally got top. Me. And now she finally got top tier grade A felon trade. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> but then I said, then I say that um, it wouldn't it be funny if you know uh, Erica Mena and Nicki Minaj's babies actually hooked up when they got older. Oh. What happened? Ooh. We still young. Ooh. We might live to see it. Shit, hmm. as as, shit, we growing up in a different time now too. So in the next few years, them kids are probably going to have faster access to internet than us. It's Google gonna your mom. You're going to gonna realize bad. that your mama used to date that cornball ass nigga back in the day. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Child. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a mess. <sighs> Anything else, guys? Oh, that's it for that. Great show. Yeah. Great show. Great show. As tradition, I want to give my little one two with the um the quote. But do you guys want to um advertise anything? Y'all probably got to go on any projects. Oh okay. yeah, you guys. I do. Yes, I'm performing at Pridechella this Saturday. Um, it's gonna be a movie. I am doing a lot with that. It's gonna be a great performance. And also, stay tuned for the Bunny Pussy video that will be dropping in the early part of June. Um, we are yes. done shooting, and I am very excited. And also be on the lookout for The Roommate that is coming very soon. It's Trey Floyd Productions. Be looking out for that. I'm playing a very funny character. Y'all will really like to see it. I think he is so adorable. His name is Josh. He's just like a roommate that's always in everybody's business. Y'all going to love it. And then also, Web Life Season 2 drops in September, so make sure y'all see that as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. Look and busy, bitch. Yes. Book, Kyle, can time. I get can I get a feature as like a love interest in a music video? Like I'm gonna need that come up. I'm gonna need my air for me to come up. Coming up. We, we're, okay. we're, I'm right. shooting the um kill the vibe video very soon. Okay, so, I'm gonna need that. Yeah, right. I need I, I need extras that's gonna show up because we had a yeah. lot of bitches that we say they're gonna come and okay. don't show up. I want <laughs> I'm gonna show up if I'm the extra. Unless you want to be, you could be the lead. You want to lead? I want to be the lead. Period. Yes, yeah, honey. Y'all yeah, got yeah. fruit. As long as y'all got some fruit platters, I'm there. <laughs> oh, yeah. We always we, we feed to get, we feed the people now. Okay. Yes, yeah, honey. Hello. Oh, my song is dropping um soon. Um, It's on pre order right yes. now. Yes. We, when this show airs, it's going to be on pre order. We need an album, Tamel. Huh? I'm going to go blast it. We need an album. Working on it. Album, coming, but this song Read is out. gonna have to carry y'all over until I'm done with it. So, uh, it's called Favorite, it's a real nice slow jam with a little upbeat tempo, you know okay. what I'm saying? It's about love and respect and all of that. No, it's actually about a little bit of yeah, it's a bomb and um, <laughs> y'all. like it's I like hope y'all enjoy song. it. It's only a 99 cent, it's not even a dollar. So, go buy that on iTunes. Yeah, it's thank you very much. It's only now, 99 cents. I know y'all got a dollar for your boy. 
if people want your guys' music, what are they searching for? Your names? What names do you guys go by um, when they um, want to search for um, stuff? My rap name is K-Star, and the S is with a, is a dollar sign. So just put okay. K dollar sign tar. <laughs> Cause that's how they, <laughs> cause that's how they go. That's how they go pronounce it anyway. So if you play like, if you play like now playing buddy with you buy K dollar sign tar. So just yeah, that's how you can remember. But it's rock star with okay. star with two R's. But this K okay. star the dollar sign is for the S, and then pop everything pop up to all the platform. Or you just put the name of the song in. Just put in bunny pussy, kill the vibe. It pops right up. Okay. okay. If you want to find mine, um, I am one of three Tremels. <laughs> okay. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't know that when I picked my name, which is my name that I was birthed. You know what I'm saying? But I'm one of three for males, and I'm the most popular one. So you should type me in, and I should pop right the fuck up along yeah. with some other ones. But if you don't see my face, that ain't me. Okay, thank you. Mm. I'm gonna see my face on all my I, shit. I gotta make I'm sure. I'm gonna need you to get home. that. I'm gonna need you to get that blue check mark, boo. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna need you to get that blue <laughs> check. Mark, but blue check mark where you need to get that verified signature. So if you're saying all these bitches is your sons, but we oh, can't tell the difference between I'm who. Like, they, it, it is it is verified on Spotify. I have a blue check there. I haven't quite gotten a blue check on Instagram yet, but I'm working on it. Hopefully, this song will get me there. Thank you. Yeah, I'm yeah, verified yeah. too on Spotify. <laughs> yes, man. Hmm. Cat conscious, y'all got anything coming up? Same shit, child. Just come over there and look at um, all the things I got going on. I'll be here next week. You know where to find me. I'll be here next week. Okay. I know that's right. All right. Well, we're about to come to an end, and I'm going to give my quote real quick. It's by Maya Angelo. Ooh. And, um, Wait a minute. Do you have anything coming up? Bitch, how you just going to slide by? I don't really have anything. The regular you shit. You got a whole segment on your ch on your platform of UFOs and aliens. Boom! Yeah. Boom! Yeah, the Justice like League that. and all that shit. Boom! Yes. Um, I mean, nothing in the actually coming up in, like, you know, immediately. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know I me, mean? I come when I come. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> No pun intended. Okay. No, actually, yeah. pun was actually. Okay, bad. pun was all the way intended. <laughs> Maya Angelou says the real difficulty is to overcome how you think about yourself. And that's the quote. That means all you self hating feminine bottoms, figure it out in the world. You IBS, yeah. figure it out. <laughs> Why be? Nice. Just let y'all know. Mm. Yes, God, honey. All right. Well, Thank you guys so much again for another great show. And uh, we love you guys. Continue to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Be blessed and never stress, guys. Enjoy. Period.